Um, you know, the first thing I have on, on the top of the page here is it just says, uh, Bob, um, if, uh, if you had told me at any point in my career that I would be in a, at an event and Bob Fisk would be introducing me, um, I should really just retire today, right now. That's it, it's done, because it can only go downhill uh, from here. Um, uh, for me and for, I know, I, just from, from the, the cocktail hour, the number of, of people in the room uh, who have been the privilege, had the privilege of, of being mentored uh, by Bob, uh, both uh, at Davis Polk and in the U.S. Attorney's Office outside uh, Davis Polk. Uh, he is, uh, for my generation of lawyers, my generation of litigators, uh, the greatest, simply uh, the GOAT. The Tom Brady, I, it pains me to say that, but he's a New England, it just pains me to say that, but the Tom Brady of uh, New York litigators. So thank you, Bob, very much. I appreciate that. It's, uh, it's a wonderful honor to, to, to be here to receive an award uh, uh, that's in honor of uh, Stephen Banner. Uh, I had the chance to spend some time uh, with Stephen's uh, wife, uh, Ellen, uh, last week, uh, and I know, she's, uh, she, I know she's here with some of her family. Um, uh, Stephen had a simply extraordinary career. Uh, that, that fantastic mix of, uh, of great lawyering, um, a great uh, businessman uh, later in his career, but of course a, a, a consistent uh, devotion to philanthropy, uh, particularly here at the UGAA over his career, and I'm honored to have a piece of hardware with his name on it in my office. So thank you so much, uh, Ellen, for all that you've done. I appreciate that. Um, I want to thank um, all of my partners that are here tonight. And, my, and the partners fall into a couple of different categories. I'll, I'll try and be quick. First category uh, are my Davis Polk partners. And I know they're here in force. Um, it all started for me there. Um, and uh, as I said, with Bob, but there were others, I worked with uh, Legends of the Bar uh, as a very, very young lawyer at Davis Polk. Bob mentioned Gary Lynch. Gary's here tonight. Uh, Gary, um, first of all, the finest business lawyer I ever worked with. I uh, started working with him when I was a uh, second week associate at Davis Polk. I was lucky enough, a little luck matters in your career. I was put in an office three doors down from Gary. And uh, one day I, I went to the bathroom and as I came back, Gary was there with a stack of folders like this. He didn't know what to do with them. He saw me, handed me the folders. Next thing you know, I was working for Gary. <laughs> Worked for him for 20 years after that. Um, and Gary uh, recruited me um, to Morgan Stanley. Um, but there are others, uh, two of them, uh, Jack Cooney and Jimmy Bankart can't be here with us today because they were taken from us way too soon. Um, uh, Sharon Katz, uh, Jeffrey Small, and of course Don Bernstein, uh, who you heard from earlier. I could go on. Um, and then of course my, my contemporaries, those uh, who grew up in the trenches with me at Davis Polk, lots of whom are here tonight, I can't name them all. Uh, but I'd love the Davis Polk gang to come up here afterwards. Alums, every once I could get a picture with all you guys, it would mean a lot to me, so if you could do that, that'd be super. Um, when you have jobs like mine, it's, you, you realize uh, the jobs that I've had at Morgan Stanley that there's a whole other uh, group of partners out there, and that's your partners in the New York legal community. Um, and there are many, uh, uh, of course, who are here tonight. Uh, three of them, uh, Brad Karp, uh, Susan Merrill, and uh, uh, Jonathan Polks, uh, were kind enough to, to help sponsor tonight's event. Uh, and they, of course, uh, have helped me grow in my uh, career uh, since I left uh, Davis Polk, and I'm grateful to all three of them. Uh, and then Brad Butwin, uh, who also co-sponsored uh, the event, is here tonight, my fellow Fordham alum. He's really the, he, it started with Brad. He's the guy who, uh, at Fordham Law School, recruited me to join Davis Polk, and Brad's here, and I'm grateful for his support over the, I guess that was 1992, the 27 years that I've been privileged to know him. Uh, then, of course, there are my partners uh, at the place that, uh, that I now work, Morgan Stanley. Um, I joined there in 2006. I was interviewed by one person, Tom Nides. You remember that, Tom? I got the job. Do you regret that moment? <laughs> one person. Uh, Gary said, you got to talk to Tom. I talked to Tom. Uh, Tom closed the deal. Uh, and over the years, uh, as Tom has come and gone and done his Tom things, many of which you heard about, uh, our relationship has had all of the hallmarks 
of what makes Morgan Stanley one of the world's great firms. Uh, support for each other, collegiality, a shared desire to do the right thing, and a few laughs along the way, usually at each other's expense. Um, happily for me, that relationship of trust, support, partnership, and true friendship extends across a huge swath of Morgan Stanley, uh, many of whom, like me, started their careers at Davis Polk. Uh, so many are here tonight, uh, both within what I think is the, I say immodestly, the greatest legal and compliance division on Wall Street, and also many of my, my, my partners uh, who lead our uh, market-leading businesses are here, and I'm grateful for that. I did want to single out uh, one person from that group. Um, he's been uh, both my right and left hand for 13 years and was instrumental in the success of tonight's event, uh, James Murray. He's right there. He's, got, he's the guy with the ash on his, he's got the ash on his forehead, you can spot him. Um, and my assistant, Shelly, who steers me through the day. Shelly's here somewhere. Shelly. Uh, next, of course, are my partners in philanthropy and civic participation. Uh, Bob uh, talked about uh, my work at AFC. Um, needless to say, I urge all of you to find a charitable cause that appeals to you, that brings that passion out of you. Uh, for me, that's, uh, that's been AFC. Uh, we help our clients at AFC, uh, who are largely um, and almost entirely uh, kids with special needs below the poverty line. We help them get uh, a chance at a better life. Uh, the law requires that they get an education just like any other kid, and we fight to make sure that they get that. The law requires that kids with physical disabilities have access to schools, and we've been fighting to get that for them. Um, and the law requires that if they need tutors or therapists or, or private education, that they get that, and we've been fighting for them. And many of you in this room uh, have helped support uh, AFC over the years, and I urge you to continue to do so. Our annual benefit is coming up in a couple of months. Um, uh, please join us for that as well. But if it's not AFC, maybe it's UJA. Uh, this wonderful organization touches the lives of so many people in need, as evidenced by the video that you saw. Uh, when I was a kid, I lived in Squirrel Hill, which is the neighborhood in Pittsburgh where the Tree of Life Synagogue was. I lived there for four years um, when I was quite young. Uh, I think all of us, uh, everybody, whether you live in Squirrel Hill or not, were, were shocked and appalled by what happened there uh, not that long ago, uh, the lives of 11 devoted people. Um, UJA was there and continues to be there, and it's worth noting. Um, they set up the Pittsburgh Solidarity Fund. They collect donations to fund psychological services, to support families, to pay medical bills for those involved in the tragedy in Pittsburgh. Um, they've been working with uh, Jewish day schools in Pittsburgh to help kids deal with the tragedy. And they've also uh, devoted time uh, and money around the nation to help other Jewish organizations secure their spaces, uh, providing uh, security assessments, uh, and to help them get federal and state funding in order to protect themselves. So, uh, and that's just, again, one of the many aspects uh, of the great work that UJA does, and I'm honored to receive the award from them. Uh, I'd also urge all of you, and I know many of you need no urging, as Tom uh, said so eloquently, to participate in our political process. Dwight, Eis Dwight, Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower said, quote, politics should be the part-time profession of every citizen, and I believe that. Now more than ever, we just can't stand by and watch our kids' futures are on the line. Whatever your political persuasion, Tom and I don't agree on lots of things, but we agree on this. Now is the time to demand more from those who are meant to serve all of the people of this great nation. Finally, and most importantly, I wanna thank my family for supporting me in everything or nearly everything um, I've literally ever done. Uh, my wife, Lauren, who sadly couldn't be here tonight uh, because she had a, I screwed up. It's, uh, <laughs> it's on me. <laughs> Planned trip, I didn't know, so I apologize. Um, uh, my two sons, uh, Miles and Billy, uh, both in college. This is uh, the week right before break, so they're in uh, finals hell right now, um, uh, who are just fantastic. They're both in college, as Bob said. Uh, we'll be all skiing together, so it'll be good next week. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have uh, two family members here. My, my aunt, uh, Hope Monis is here, um, my mom's sister. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm really happy you could come tonight. And my very dear cousin and brand new Wilkie Farr partner, Justin Browder here, uh, is at my table today. It's fantastic. I want to thank my mom and my dad, uh, my brother, uh, Seth and his family. Um, but uh, last but certainly not least, and, and um, Tom mentioned them, the two people uh, who really saved my life as a kid, uh, my maternal grandparents, Ruth and Seymour Manus. Um, they were simply the two best people I have ever met, uh, and they were husband and wife. So thank you all very much for this honor. I really appreciate you. It means so much to me that you came out tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good night. And if the Davis Polk gang could come up, that'd be great. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight and have a lovely evening. <laughs>